Hey, what's going on, BookTube on YouTube? Today, I'll be sharing my October TBR, so stick around. Are you a book lover, book addict, book nerd, a book geek? Well, feed your need now by subscribing for more bookish videos. So, wow, I can't believe October is here already. I mean, I feel like time just flew right by and I don't know what happened. I'm completely lost. But one thing I love about October is, of course, Halloween. So I was trying to pick some creepy or paranormal type books for this TBR or even horror books, you know, to read this month. Being that I'm already almost done with It by Stephen King. So here's my TBR for October. So the first book on my TBR for October is pretty much a reread for me because the last time I read this book was when it first came out many years ago. And the book is actually called Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Now, if you don't know what this book is about, it's pretty much about Isabella Swan. She moves to a gloomy town called Forks and meets Edward Cullen. Now, Edward is both irresistible and impenetrable. He has been able to keep his true identity hidden, but Bella is determined to discover and uncover his dark secret. The more she gets close to him, the more she puts herself and those around her in serious danger. I mean, most of us know what this book is about, but for those of you who haven't read it or haven't seen the movie, I'm just gonna leave it at that. The next book I wanna discuss is The Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. You know, The Little Mermaid was my favorite cartoon, Disney cartoon when I was little. This book is pretty much a story about Ursula. Ursula is actually named Evie in this book. And since Evie's best friend Anna drowned, Evie has been pretty much an outcast in her town. Evie sees a girl who looks just like her best friend Anna. She begins to believe that Anna didn't actually drown. She wasn't dead. That's crazy. But the girl denies that her name is Anna. So the two girls, Evie and Anna, become best friends. And the two girls catch the eyes and hearts of two princes. Evie really doesn't know that her new friend actually has secrets of her own. Now her new friend gets into some trouble and needs help and she can't stay in town or on two legs unless Evie finds a way to help her. Now Evie will pretty much do anything to save her friend's humanity along with her prince's heart. Harnessing the power of her magic, her ocean, and her love until she discovers too late the truth of her bargain now this book sounds like such an adventure and i really can't wait to read it and find out what happens and how she became how she became i just know that you know this book will probably rev up a whole bunch of emotions and i know they will be going wild with this one the next book on my tbr is the winter people now this story takes place in west of vermont it's pretty much always been a town of disappearances and like old legends and stuff like that the most mysterious of the of the stories are of sarah harrison shea who in 1908 was found dead in the field behind her house just months after the tragic death of her mother. Now, in the present day, 19-year-old Ruthie lives in the old farmhouse where Sarah used to live. She lives there with her mother and her younger sister. So, Ruthie wakes up one morning to find that her sister is just gone, has like just disappeared and, you know, vanished. So, Ruthie goes looking for clues, but while she's trying to find out these clues about the disappearance of her sister, she ends up finding out a whole bunch of clues and the mystery of what happened to Sarah all those years ago now this book sounds super creepy as hell and you know during Halloween sometimes you need a little creep now the next book on my TBR list is a classic that I can't tell you how long I've been wanting to read this my brother actually told me about this book but it's super creepy as hell and the book is pretty much called Grimm's fairy tales. I mean, this book is pretty much all the fairy tales that we remember growing up as a kid, but just the, you know, the way they were originally written in a creepy, graphic, and gory kind of way. And I know particularly the Cinderella story is creepy, especially at the end. I can't wait to see how the other fairy tales are. I mean, I know, for instance, that Hansel and Gretel is in here, as well as like Little Red Riding Hood and some other ones as well so yeah this book is gonna be crazy 
So the next book on my TBR is a book I actually got at BookCon this year. It's called Frozen Perfection by Ray B. Lake. Now, this is book one of a trilogy. It's about Kay and her family. They would run away every time there was like someone who wasn't human around. And now after starting a new life, they're faced with what is their most dangerous enemy, the Paleans. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Now this time Kate doesn't want to run anymore. She's tired of running. She wants to go and fight back. I don't know what they're fighting for, but she wants to fight back and her powers grow to heights that she can't even control. This book is pretty much a paranormal fantasy and the author even signed it for me as well. So I'm super excited about that. The last book on my TBR for October is Alice by Christina Henry. Now this is a twisted tale of Alice in Wonderland. Alice is actually in a mental hospital and manages to escape due to a fire that ends up happening. She can't really remember how she got there or what happened. All she could remember is a tea party? Now, she's free to uncover the truth about everything that has happened to her all those years ago. Now, I love Twisted Tales and can you just imagine for a second being Alice and all the things that she went through? So you wanna hang out some more? Head over to our BookTube and BookTubers Facebook group and feed your need. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday. Subscribe now for more bookish videos. Take care, guys.